Hello everyone, this is SuperTal3 here, back with another video. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about image metadata. I'm going to be showing you how to find the metadata behind an image, um, how to view that, and just some cool information that you can get from just a simple picture. Really quick, before we jump on the computer, I want to tell you guys a bit about what metadata is. Um, with every file that you have on a computer, you have the data, and that is... For example, in a picture, that's the pixels in the picture or the words in a Word document. Metadata is data about that data, like the date it was, and time it was created, the location it was shot at if it's a picture. Sometimes you'll have that. Um, different data about what the settings the camera had when it took the picture, things like that. And so in today's video, we're going to be hopping on my personal Linux distribution um, so I can show you using this tool called Image Magic how to view the data behind an image. Um, just to show you how to do that, um, it could be useful to you one day. So I highly recommend you watch this video all the way through to the end. Um, it'll give you some good information as well as help me out. Also, please subscribe if you aren't already. And follow me on Twitter, at SuperTal3, for the latest updates about my channel. And now we're going to go ahead and jump on the computer. Well all right guys so here we are um, at my custom linux distribution um, so that way i can use the tools needed to show you guys how to view metadata of an image now in today's video the tool we're going to be using is called image magic and it's really a subset of that tool um, called identify so when you install image magic on Linux it automatically installs a command line utility called identify that allows you to view metadata behind an image so we'll go over here and go identify dash verbose because we want to see everything there is to see about the metadata and we'll do the path to our image which is dot slash IMG and I'll just do tap this is an image, um, here, we'll do this. This is how the image looks. It is a picture of the beach that I took when I was down at, on a beach vacation the other day. And this is the metadata behind that image. So we go up to here where I executed the command and you can see that the file type is JPEG, Joint Photographic Experts Group JFIF Format. I did not know that's what JPEG meant before today, but now I do. And now you do it as well if you didn't already know. The geometry is 3024 by 4032. Um, that is just how many pixels wide by how many pixels long. Resolution is 72 by 72, which means there are 72 pixels per inch. Then we have the color space, which is sRGB type true color. The depth is 8-bit, so that means we have 8-bit color scheme on this. 10-bit is better, but we only have 8 on this image. So you can see there's red, green, blue, overall, min, max, blah, 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 tons of stats. I don't know what all these are, at, honestly. Um, but some people do. This would help some people, but I just don't know that. Background color is white, so this is like the default for cameras apparently, because I've seen this in several other images that I was looking at before this video. Quality is 68. So when you compress an image into JPEG, you have different levels of quality, um, 100 being the best, 0 being the lowest. This was compressed to 68, so it wasn't necessarily the best. This is a picture I took with my iPhone, by the way. Um, and I had to convert it from HEIC, which is their high efficiency format, to jpeg so that's probably on some website so that's probably how this messed up but as you can see the date and time that this was created and modified and the reason that this is saying pretty much now at the time filming this video is because i uploaded it to a website they created that file based off the heic version etc because the heic is weird i don't know why apple uses it really so this is the actual time and date when i took the image right here um, and the time was digitized, time of the original, so that's exactly when I took that picture, actually. Um, you got exposure mode, exposure program, exposure time, flash, pixel, ver flash pix version, um, 
tons of stuff. Here's a here's some really cool stuff. So this is if you want to track sort of track people, build a timeline of where they're going. Um, and if you had access to their pictures, you could be out, and they took pictures everywhere they went. You could be out, okay, this is where you were. Um, right here, this section, GPS altitude, da da da, GPS stuff. So you had the altitude that I was at, um, altitude reference, GPS date stamp. So the date that the GPS was gotten, pretty much, um, the bearings, ref, the bearing reference, positioning errors, ten slash one image direction so it even tells the direction I was facing when I took the image this is kinda creepy almost um, latitude latitude reference so this means I was 30 slash 115 slash 12650 slash 100 um, facing north basically um, then I was west for the other way for the longitude um, my speed that I was moving out was 13 hours slash 20 don't know what exactly that means um, but anyway Lens make is Apple iPhone 7 back camera 3.99 millimeter lens with a f-stop of 1.8 um, lens specification 39 399 over 100 39 over 100 9 over 5 9 over 5 um, this is just an iPhone 7 in fact I have it right here my iPhone 7 um, that's the one what I took the picture with and the image metadata the data behind the image that tells you about the image tells you everything it tells you ex because I had the feature turned on I hadn't turned it off yet um, it tells you exactly where exactly where I was um, some tools you can get a map and you can look like within three meters even like if you take a picture in a house it'll show you where at in that house you took that picture pretty much so GPS data shows all the color data for the image I don't know what maker note is um, it's really long whatever it is a bunch of random numbers um, again, you have another thing uh, about the model. The offset time, so this shows I was in central standard time. Um, the photographic sensitivity, X dimension, Y dimension, um, white balance, just various other things like this. Um, pixels per second was 85.9006 uh, megapixels. So the number of pixels total was 12.1928 megapixels. So that... Um, pretty much says that my camera camera on the back of this iPhone right here is like a 12 megapixel camera something like that um, which is kind of what I expected the newer ones are getting up into the 40s and the hundreds um, for the Samsung Galaxy one kind of ridiculous but anyway this is how you view the metadata of an image you can view metadata behind other files too we're just not going to go into that today um, anything from Word documents to executable files all have metadata every file that is ever created has metadata um, and so people can use that metadata against you if somebody is trying to track you from the pictures that you posted online they could probably do that if you have the location feature turned on on your phone's camera whenever um, you take pictures and you post them so anyways this was just a quick video how to view the metadata of an image I thought it'd be a kind of fun video to do um, I figured you guys might enjoy it if you guys want a video of my custom Linux distribution and kind of how it looks, take you through the different things that it does, let me know in the comment section below and I'll be happy to make a video about it for you guys. I really enjoyed putting it together, um, primarily for the purpose of becoming a hacker and hackers use Linux. I love Linux um, and that's what I'll be using to hack with because that's where all my tools are at. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you aren't subscribed to this channel already, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button if you like the video and follow me on Twitter at SuperTal3 for the updates as to when I'm going to be posting videos, etc. Thank you guys for watching. This is SuperTal3 signing out.